Hello and welcome to Geek and Play Studio Tutorials. In these tutorials, I want to look on some other type of animations, and currently we will look on ventilators. The couple things about ventilators, it is not a global wind. So if you remember, if we go to Atmosphere Editor, right here we have it wind type, which is apply the breeze or a wind on all our plants that in our scenery. Ventilator, however, it's a more localized type of the force that we can apply to single plane or plant objects or to the ecosystem. So let's, for example, just create a plant and um, just create a simple cherry tree. Okay, this is, will be our object on which we apply the force. Okay. Next, we go ahead and we'll create the ventilators. You have two types. If you right click and hold, you have it omnidirectional or you also have it um, directional so it's one which I will use it okay our directional ventilator right here the next what I want to do you can notice we can readjust position drag and reapply it so and also notice right here we have our cone and this is where the cut off happen also it's influenced by intensity so currently our intensity 100 if we pop up intensity to 200 you notice our effect cone effect is increasing as well we can increase the uh, spread maybe just make it small fallout fallout this will affect this is edge so from the center to the end of this and it's how this move or how um, take for the power to decreasing so a couple things you will notice right now when we start moving our ventilators you can see how it start affecting our tree so in the closer we come, the more powerful it is because they are cut off set. So now it's more affecting our tree with this force. The also inside the tree, we go to edit this object. You'll notice we have a tab right here where we can say how much um, respond to the wind of this tree will apply sensitivity to the breeze, to the wind. Also, we can modify flexibility and curl and other options in which way the tree will interact with the force so again to animate and one thing nice about nice about animations on uh, ventilators we can animate um, objects that flying over there some grass so let's go create one we'll go ahead and create one simple cube this will be our base next what I want to do for this cube I want to add ecosystem and we'll go ahead and add a plant um, we'll take some grass I will apply some basic grass um, long grass to this let's maybe increase our density and just slightly pop up scaling okay next we'll take our ventilator the one options before if we start applying currently our ventilator do not affect at all um, our ecosystem and to enable we need it to select the ventilators and when you go inside and enable option influence ecosystem so in this case our ventilator will affect the grass we have it so we can come closer like a camera Okay, and you remember if before in preview we can see effect of ventilators when we apply to ecosystem we actually need to go ahead and render the image to see how this will affect also remember um, effect of ventilators on the ecosystem will respond to the type of the object we have it and how this object respond to the wind from our plant editor so let's go ahead and do um, increase slightly. We'll have it more dramatic. We take effect to our wind. Okay, place it right here. We take camera. Adjust, you know, maybe add even more on the density. So we have a very then next just to monitor we'll take some object maybe 
placing it right here so we can see it take the ventilator put it under and spread and we also go ahead and this ventilator link to our sphere so at this point if we have a sphere will be moving around so is the effect from our ventilator again I want to be sure um, on my ventilator it says enable effect ecosystem so let's go ahead and animate um, our sphere so we'll add keyframe here we'll go to um, maybe about two seconds and we'll just around here maybe you go on a one second and reposition so in this case we have it animation it's kind of going around so we can see how the effect of ventilators will be to our animation okay and this point I'm going to render Okay, we'll set as a ventilator and I will default I will set as a 15 frames um, I just want to preview in preview mode um, you as normal you want to do is broadcast if you want to have it uh, some other effect applied but for just to the test I want preview 320 and I'm going ahead and we'll start render this animation we'll come back to this tutorial after animations finish rendering okay so it's finished um, rendering let's look on our animation and again this is very preview quality but you can see right here we have an effect of mint later going from under our sphere so it's affecting our grass okay again this is a just as concept it's required a bit more tweaking on what power interaction we want to work there are also other interesting things about ventilators let's click right there and we also just maybe um increasing Okay, also we have it on a ventilator's properties as intensity, as a positions and all other ones. Intensity is very nice because we can set intensity from very low to very high and that will help us to create maybe explosion to make effect on a tree like it's expanding air in all directions by using Omni ventilator. So we'll have it options to modify and animate our intensity control of course orientation and position as well we have it additional the spread and fallout so for the ventilators we have it all properties of this object can be um, use it and we can animate it and we can use it to simulate all this additional effect that may apply to um, our ecosystem okay thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio please remember to visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com